Hello, hello, hello. And what I thought I'd do here is um, show you, do a little tutorial, show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer. Somebody left a message asking how easy it was. And I thought, well, rather than typing out a, a long explanation, a badly written a long explanation, I could actually illustrate the whole process to you using the medium of YouTube and video. Oh yes, indeed. Um, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a Roland GR55, insert picture of said Roland GR55. You're gonna need a little USB memory doodad. Yeah, really, they're that small, my goodness. That's what I use in my Roland. Um, this is just a standard USB stick. You know, I'm sure you'll have one lying around. Maybe you won't, I don't know. But it will be need to be formatted to the FAT32 format. It's got nothing to do with me, all right? It's just the format. It's, it's, it's how these things are formatted. So format it to FAT32. And then you'll need to go to the Roland support website. There'll be a link in the description. I'll, I'll make it nice and easy for you where you can download the firmware and it's the firmware version 1.50 at this moment in time in this present moment it may have changed historically who knows how long this video will be here in, in 10 years time it could be something else um my goodness youtube in 10 years time who would have thought then you need to of course copy said firmware onto usb sticky i'll show you how to do that in a moment and then put it back into your GR55 and go through the upgrade process, which again will be illustrated. Now I'm going to hand you over to my good friend Darren, who's going to show you the where's, why's and wherefores of it all. Take it away, Darren. Why, thank you, Darren. And this is the Roland GR55 support page, which has the all the firmware details on this, where you download it from. The URL will be in the description, so it will just be one click away. And when you get to the bottom, you just have to agree to download the file, and the file is in various formats, Windows 7. There's also supplementary files, which features the patch list and how to do all of this. Now, copying the files over, I'm just going to show you how to do Q transition. The top file is the actual zip file with the bin file in. Bottom window is the USB B stick, and you just drag it onto one from the other. As simple as that. It'll be the same for Windows. And now we're at the GR55 itself. I'm going to show you how to check what your firmware is. Now you need to press the page left and right buttons whilst you fire up. So left and right pages held down, power it up and the Roland symbol comes up and it will tell you what your current firmware is now. On my GR55, you're going to see it's 1.50 anyway, but this just illustrates how you can check what the build version is and the boot uh, version of your firmware is. There it is for your review. Now, open the USB slot the side of the GR55. It's there, it's just a little panel there. Get a USB stick with the firmware installed onto it there it is it's got the that's got the new firmware in plug it in and make sure it's snug and then close it up and now we need to reboot and start the process now with this you need to be a bit of an octopus you've got to hold the v link button and the user button down at the same time now i can't quite reach the power button like that so i tend to do it big hand like this v link user button and then power it on it take a little while for the um, the process to begin, but don't panic. Just keep those buttons pressed down, and whatever you do, don't turn the power off. Same with any uh, firmware update. Always make sure the power is staying on. And uh, once things start to happen, trust me, things are happening. And as you can see, the program updater is ex executing. It's quite a fast process. Well, it is in my case. Um, watch the dots, and then it will tell you that the whole process is completed. And once it says completed, you can power down. There you go. Now, you might want to press the page left and right buttons again and, and reboot so you can double check that the right firmware is indeed installed if you're anal in that response. And that's what we're going to do now. So there I am. I'm holding the page left and right down and I'm, I'm powering up. And we should see now that 
of course, obviously, because I've done this before, the, the, the right firmware there is there. So there you go. Now I'll hand you back to Darren. Take it away, Darren. Well, I think you'll agree that was absolutely informative and a top-class job. So, so, so thank you, Darren, for doing that. Uh, hopefully this has been useful for you. And if you like it, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, unsubscribe, kiss your granny, play with your dog. You know the routine. Only one more thing to say, and that is ta-ta.